So if you're considering using B vitamins for your cannabis plants, suggest you watch this Debaku University video to see if it's a right option for you. All right, let's get into using B vitamins for cannabis production. Well, first off, I have a reference article here if you're wondering where I got some of the information from. Links provided here, first page is here, so you're welcome to investigate it further. This is just gonna be a brief overview. So starting off with just B vitamins, often associated with improved root formation. However, this has not been proven to be the case, as in the original studies, the B vitamins were mixed with auxins. It was actually the auxins that were actually responsible for the increase in root growth. So it kind of was associated that, oh, there's B vitamins in there, improve root growth. But really, if you look at these original studies, they're looking at the fact that auxins were added, and really the auxins were doing the actual root formation, not necessarily the B vitamins. So adding B vitamins, the additional of uh, B vitamins is not advised simply because plants in the field can produce their own thymine in addition so it can so can many fungi and bacteria that live in the root zone. So even though the plants may need it or benefit from it, uh, in their root zone there's a lot of microbes that can produce it for the plants. To reduce plant transplant shock and root formation, uh, create a supportive environment for the plants by adding an auxin product that may be incorporated and is suggested over adding B vitamins, because that's really where the improvements uh, were occurred in those original studies. So where to add uh, B vitamins? You know, are they applicable anywhere? Well, if you're involved with the kind of tissue culture process of cannabis, then the use of B vitamins, particularly thiamine, can play an important role. But this is a limited case that most growers do not participate in because of the general difficulty that cannabis presents with the tissue culture propagation process in general. So other than that, B vitamins would be utilized in this to some degree. If you're growing actual uh, plants from seeds or clones, really not advised that B vitamins focus more on a protective and supportive growing environment. And if you want to encourage root formation, probably seek auxins over the addition of B vitamins.